Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between dematerialization and rematerialization. Dematerialization can be defined as the process in which, at the request of the investor, the company takes back the traditional share certificates of the investor, and same number of securities are credited to his or her trading account in the electronic form. On the other hand, rematerialization may be understood as the process of mutating the electronic holdings in a DMAT account, into paper form, that is, conventional certificates. So, let's look into the basic differences between dematerialization and rematerialization in a tabular form. Difference number 1, the process of conversion of securities from physical form to an equivalent number of shares in electronic form is known as dematerialization. On the contrary, the process of obtaining physical certificates of the securities held in electronic form is called rematerialization. Number 2, when the shares are dematerialized, they lose their independent identity, and so they do not possess distinctive number, on the other hand, rematerialized shares have their distinctive number. Number 3, dematerialization can lead to paperless trading, whereas, rematerialization involves physical trading. And, difference number 4, in dematerialization, the securities account is maintained with the depository participant, conversely, the securities account is maintained by the company in case of rematerialization. Rematerialization is diametrically opposite of dematerialization, which allows an investor to turn its shareholdings in electronic form into physical one. Both the processes need at least 30 days for completion. So, these are the differences between dematerialization and rematerialization. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.